All right, if you are looking to hook up a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air to a monitor like this, the one on the right there, hopefully this video can help you out. You can see we've got a VGA cable that plugs into the back of the monitor. It's kind of an old school monitor. Uh, and we're looking to see how it works with this MacBook Air. You can see there's no VGA inputs anywhere on this new relatively new computer. We've only got these two USB-C inputs, one for the power and one presumably for, well, whatever else you need to plug in. It's Apple's attempt to really minimize and streamline make it, making sure everything uh, is nice and smooth and aesthetically pleasing, even though that comes at a cost, lack of practicality. So what you're gonna need here to do this job is this little uh, utensil, this little, little cable adapter, uh, and we're gonna plug it in here and we are going to plug the other end into the VGA like this. Now there's no receivers for the little screws like that, so just back out the screws all the way. And you know, as long as you're not wrestling it, it won't, it won't matter, it won't come out. The, the, the connection's pretty secure without those screws. And we'll go ahead and open up the laptop here, and you're gonna go to the little magnifying glass and click, or type in the word display. And you'll click the arrangement tab and there should be a little button that says mirror. Can you see that right there? Mirror. Click that, make sure that's clicked and it should mirror your image to the projector. Now there's gonna be, if you have an old monitor, you can play around with the settings, right? Click these little pull down for the, for the display. You might be able to adjust that and make that setting as high as possible. There might be an auto feature on it. So just play around with that a little bit. Uh, in this particular case, we've got a fairly old monitor, so it's not really liking. It's actually uh, degrading the image quality a little bit and also cutting off the uh, left and right ends of the, uh, um, of the image. You can see at the bottom left there, the uh, Google Chrome tab is actually cut in half. So we're not getting full access. It's not mirroring, mirroring perfectly, but that is how you can do it nonetheless. And we'll stop the video there. Hopefully this has helped you 